Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Toonie School and today is going to be the first video in a two-part Tech Tuesday series. We're going to be talking about how to access the Toon repository on the new and improved HP Tuner's website as well as how to use the compare feature and the VCM Suite 4.0. So in case you don't know, the HP Tuner's Tune Repository is a user-made database. So it's where all these guys from around the country have compiled all of these files from different vehicles all in one place so you can actually download them and use them as a, on a comparison basis for what you have at home. So something to keep in mind is this repository is not designed for you to take a file out of it and upload it directly to your vehicle. Actually doing this can leave the computer in your vehicle inoperable. So you want to make sure that you're not uploading any of these files directly, but it can still be a super helpful tool, especially when it comes to setting vehicles back to stock. A lot of times you purchase a vehicle and it's already been tuned, or you happen to lose or misplace or even write over your stock tune file. The HP Tuners repository can be a great way if you actually set a tune file back to stock. So we're going to talk about the repository today, how to get into it and access it. And then next week, we're going to be talking about how to actually use the compare feature to set your vehicle back to stock. So to access the repository, you're going to go to hptuners.com. Once you're here, you're going to go to the My Account section right here in the top right of the screen, and it's going to bring you to the My Account page. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to either register or log in. If you've never logged into this site before, if you've never registered on this new site that HP Tuners has, you're going to have to create a new login. If you haven't on this site before, then you can simply just go to the login section. So I actually already have an account on here. So what I will do is put in my account information. So I'm going to put in my email right here. And then after I get that in, we're going to go right here to the password and we're going to select log in. Now you would do the same thing if you've never logged in before. You would just be on the other side over here in the register section. So we're going to go ahead and click log in. Now when we log in, it's going to bring us directly to our dashboard here, our, our My Account dashboard. You guys can see this right here. Now you see there's an option right here for Tune Repository. However, if I click on it, it's going to tell me that I'm, it's only available to users that have one or more devices. So what it means is I have to actually register my device with HP Tuners before I can actually access my Tune Repository. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go over here to My Devices and we're going to fill out the information for either an MPVI-1 or an MPVI-2 unit. So in order to register our products, we're going to need to do a couple of different things depending on if we have an MPVI unit or a brand new MPVI-2. So if we simply just have an MPVI unit, so the pro or the standard units, the old ones, these ones right here, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your serial number and your application key. Now the serial number is pretty easy because it's in the software, but it's also right on the back of the HP Tuners unit. There's a number right back here, it's your serial number. But there's an even easier way to find it out. You can come down here and you can go into your VCM software right here. You can go to help and you can go to application keys and you actually will find your unit. So I've got a couple of different units here. This is the unit that we're gonna be using today. So what we'll do is I can actually copy the serial number right here. We're gonna go back to the HP Tuners website. We're gonna to go to paste. So we're gonna select paste. That's good right there. Now we also have application keys. So we're gonna to need to copy and paste that as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here again to the software. Now there's a couple different ways to find this. You can find it in the software right here. But if it's not already in your software, then it's gonna be on the piece of paper that came in the box with the HP Tuners unit when you bought it. Or you can locate the latest order email from either the Tuning School or HP Tuners. So if you've ordered credits before, then you can actually find the email and find the application key that way. But it's gotta be the latest application key. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight the application key here. This is just the easiest way to do it. We're gonna come back here and we're going to right click and select paste, right? So that's what we would do. At this point, we could select import and it's gonna import that information. Now, if you happen to have a brand new MPVI-2, there's a little bit different of a process. You still need the serial number, which is still on the back of the unit here, but we're also gonna need a verification ID, which is a little bit more complicated to find, but it's really not that bad. So the easiest way to find that is we're gonna to go to the VCM software right here, the VCM editor. We're gonna to have to have the latest version, version 4.0. If we have that, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the USB right here, we're gonna plug it into our laptop, We'll plug it in over here on this side. And what we can do is we can actually go up to help again, and we're gonna select MPVI2 verification ID. 
So if we click that button right there, it's gonna bring up this pop-up window and you see it automatically populated the serial number and the verification ID. So we need both those numbers to, numbers to register this unit. So we can copy the serial number, go back to the website right here and we can paste it. We'll go back to the software again, get the verification code, right click, copy, back to the website and select paste. And then at this point you can select import. So if we go ahead and click import, it's gonna update our site here. So it's gonna, we now have that imported. You can actually see it right here. We have the serial number, the license information, credits, all that information. Now we can actually go over here to the tune repository and begin searching for the files that we're looking for. So right here is our tune repository. It's located right here on the left hand side. You can see we can click on it here. And now that we have a device actually registered, it's gonna let us access it. So all you have to do to use this repository, it works just the way the old one did. If you happen to have used that old one before, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go for a year. So you're gonna look for a specific year of the vehicle you're working with. Today, for our example, we're gonna be using a 2004 Silverado. So we're gonna go to Chevrolet. We're gonna go to Silverado, which is down here. And let me see if I can find it. Oh, maybe a little far. It's a very long list, so it can be difficult to find. I got Silverado. Actually, we're going to be using a Silverado with a 4.8 liter V8. So we're going to come down here to 4.8, which is this guy right here. And transmission, we can be automatic. Now I can actually select the sort by option here where I can sort, sort by a year, make, model, engine, transmission. Year is normally the best bet. And you can actually uh, enter relevant search items in this box here. I don't normally use that option, but now that I've got that information filled out, I can click search repository and it's gonna bring up all of the files that have been uploaded with those certain parameters. So you see I've got a bunch of files here. Now the thing you wanna look for is you'll see this red text here. It says this is a stock tune file. So when this person uploaded this file, they, they checked a box that says, yes, this is a stock tune file. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna download one of these and, and this one's the one I got, I'm gonna actually download right here. So this one looks like it's gonna work best for our truck. So all you have to do is you have to left click here on download this tune file. And what HP Tuners is gonna tell you is they're gonna say, hey, we're not responsible for this file. We don't verify whether or not it's stock, so go ahead and use it at your own risk. That's not a problem, you're gonna go ahead and click OK. So it's gonna bring you to another landing page where you have to click right here again on download this request. So if I click on it, it'll begin downloading. Now it's gonna put it in our downloads folder under an arbitrary number. It's just a random number sequence. So it's not necessarily gonna give you a good reference if you have multiple ones in there. So what I like to do a lot of times is I actually like to kind of build my own repository. And what I'll do is I'll right click on the file itself. You can click save link as. It's gonna bring up the window here for the file explorer. And I can actually save this under a specific name. So you see here, it's just has a random number sequence. That's what we had just saved. But instead of saving it as that, I'll save it as 04 Silverado stock. And I'll click save. And now I know exactly what that file is when I go to use it later. It's just kind of a helpful tip when you're doing that kind of stuff. So that's how you're gonna pull the file off the repository. After this, we're gonna be start looking at how to use the actual compare feature. So now that you've got your file from the repository, you're ready to begin using it with the compare feature, which we're gonna be covering in next week's video. Remember, keep in mind that uploading this file from the repository directly to your vehicle can leave the computer inoperable. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're using that compare feature. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's gonna help you in your day-to-day -day tuning. So stay tuned for next week. See you soon. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also check out our other videos. And if you're interested in any tuning products, check out our website.